How's it guys? Uh, thank you so much for your support with Build a Bond. We really appreciate it whether you got this as a gift or whether you bought it for yourself to do with somebody. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, we're just going to go over a couple of things just to make it easier for you. Uh, this is a visual help as opposed to the steps on your manual that you have there just to give you a few tips as you go along. So obviously you've got your manual in your bag. Um, I've just got a little one here, and that's your manual, and then I've just kind of put all the pieces out here, it might take a bit long um, to go through it all with you, but you can check that you've got everything according to your manual. So just uh, step one, just uh, remember that this is quality time, uh, it's not about getting out the perfect project, but rather building a bond with your loved one and uh, hopefully learning something new as they go along. Step two, you can check that all the pieces are there and you can mark it off. I would also suggest it's a good time to mark the pieces of your project. Uh, just uh, one thought as you mark it, the body is the biggest pieces. That needs two holes, one on each side. The front legs, which are the longest next piece, you only need one hole in each side. The back legs, only one hole and the tail and the neck that's only need one hole don't get too excited and go and drill two holes and then realize that only the body needs two holes what i'm going to do is i'm going to start with the head you will notice that on your head there's a big hole in the top and then there's the two smaller holes in the bottom so what i've done is i've already marked um, I've, I've taken my neck and i've put it up against the two holes i've marked it and i've drilled it and then what I'll be able to do is, now I come through, I've got my two screws here. I can go through through the hole there and I'm going to screw the, screw the neck onto the head. That part is important to do that, to screw your neck on first. It's important because if you do, if you do your lamp holder first, the lamp holder is going to be in the way and you're not going to be able to screw the screws in. Then what you can do is you can go ahead and you can put the lamp holder on. Sorry, I'm moving away from my project here. That should be on that side. Sorry, that will go through there. So what you will do is you will make sure that you do your wiring first. Make sure that your wire goes through the round end first. You would connect one piece to there, one piece to there, and then you would screw it on. And that would hold it on there like that. How I do the wiring is you can split it in half. You'd use your side cutters, just give it a little nip. I then uh, screw uh, the whole wire together. And then what I like to do is I like to bend it in half. So it makes a nice little stubby there which will go nicely into your edge. Okay, so there you have it, that's how I've done it. I'm going to show you the plug. So I did the same thing for the plug side, and then I've just stuck that in there. Remember, if it's only two pieces of wire, it doesn't matter which way around it goes, uh, because you, uh, you're not working with a live and a neutral and in a earth. So it can go either way around. So that would go in any two, either way, in that one. You've got your plug, either way, in that one. And then just to take note, anywhere along your cable, you can, uh, don't cut the whole cable, you don't have to, otherwise you're going to find yourself um, using words you don't want to in front of the person that you're helping. Uh, so again, I'm going to do that same procedure that I did, twist it together, bend it in half, and then what you'll see is this wire will come through and then these ones would connect under each one and then you don't have to now kind of now have to make another plan and you haven't damaged your wire okay so that's how the cable works then uh, before you put your your dog together I would suggest sanding it um, if you want you can make each piece a different color or you can paint your dog first or varnish it or whatever you want then on the front legs uh, you've got these uh, washers that are actually meant for taps but we found them as quite a nice spacer 
So what you'll see uh, is that it'll you must put one leg through, then you put I've used the bigger spaces on the outside and the smaller ones on the inside, doesn't really matter which way you do it. And then as long as you have a piece and a spacer, piece, spacer, piece, spacer. And then what that'll that'll help you let the dog stand a little bit more sturdy. Okay, and then obviously the back legs they don't have a space, so they just get put together. And we hope that you have a good time doing this project and that uh, you guys learn something as you go along. Super, thanks for your support.